memory of computers. Learning about the various types of memory of computer. Hello friends. Do you remember your first day in school? Yes. Well, human beings use their memory to store information. They are able to recollect information. That is, remember things when they need to. The computer also has memory which it uses to store all the data and instructions. Measuring the memory of a computer. The memory of the computer is measured in units of bits and bytes. The bit is a binary digit. It is the smallest unit of memory. It can have a value as 0 or 1.1. Byte is equal to 8 bits. We need 1 byte of memory to store 1 alphabet and 2 bytes to store a number. 8 bits is equal to 1 byte. 1024 bytes is equal to 1 kilobytes, that is KB. 1024 kilobytes is equal to 1 megabytes, that is MB. 1024 megabytes is equal to 1 gigabyte, that is GB. Types of memory. A computer has two types of memories. One, primary or main memory. Two, secondary memory. Primary or main memory unit. The primary memory is a part of the CPU. The primary memory is also called the main memory or the internet memory. Primary memory is fixed on the motherboard inside the CPU tower. It is here that the computer stores data and instructions. Though we show the memory along with the CPU, it is actually a separate part. There are two types of primary memory. One, read-only memory that is ROM. Two, random access memory that is RAM. Read-only memory, ROM. ROM is affixed on the motherboard. Though it is taken to be a part of the CPU, it is a separate chip. The ROM stores instructions regarding the working of the computer system. The information is written here at the time of manufacturing of the computer and is permanent. It cannot be modified. Random access memory, RAM. The RAM is used to load the programs when you are working on them. The RAM is also known as read and write memory. That is, we can read data from it and write data onto it too. The RAM is a temporary memory. The data stored in RAM is temporary and disappears when a program is called or the computer is shut down. Secondary memory. The primary memory is restricted in size. So, where does the computer store all the things it needs to remember? For this, we need the secondary memory or external memory to store the large volumes of data. Storage devices like the hard disk, compact disk and pen drives or flash drives constitute the secondary memory. Data store here is permanent and does not get erased when computer is shut down. Hard disk The hard disk is a metallic disk coated with a magnetic material. It is permanently fixed inside the CPU tower. The hard disk stores the computer programs which form the operating system, that is, Windows and many other types of software. The contents on your hard disk can be seen by accessing the My Computer window. Most hard disks are partitioned into different compartments or drives for convenience. You can see the drives named as C, D, E and so on. Floppy disk 
The floppy disk is a removable storage device. It is used to transfer small amounts of data from one computer to another. We can read data from a floppy disk and write onto it too. A floppy disk is a very thin circular disk, 3.5 in diameter. It is contained inside the outer covering, which is rectangular in shape. A floppy disk has a storage capacity of 1.44 MB. To read a floppy disk, we insert it into the floppy disk drive. Compact disk Compact disks are also external storage devices that can hold up to 700 MB of data. To access a CD, we place it in a tray that opens from the CD-ROM drive. Types of compact disk there are three types of CDs. 1. CD-ROM, compact disk read-only memory. A CD-ROM is a CD containing data which has been written at the time of manufacture. The data cannot be modified or erased. 2. CD-R, compact disk recordable. A CD-R can be used to write data only once by the user. This data cannot be changed or erased. 3. CDRW Compact Disk Rewritable A CDRW can be used to write data again and again. The data can be erased and modified as many times as you require. CD drives are of two types. Read only CD drive CD-ROM drive a CD-ROM drive can only read the data in a CD, but cannot copy anything on it. 2. Writable CD drive, CD-RW drive. Nowadays, most CD drives are writable CD drives, CD-RW. They cannot only read data from a CD, but also write data onto it. DVD, that is, Digital Video Disc A DVD looks like a CD but can hold several times more information than a CD. A single-sided DVD we normally use hold 4.7 GB that is gigabytes of data. You could store 2 to 3 movies on a DVD. Flash Drive The flash drive or pen drive is a convenient way of transferring data. It is a small hard disk with a very high capacity of storage space. Summary We have learned about the measuring the memory of a computer and types of memory. And that is all for now. Good going and keep learning.